Alright, so in this video what we want to do is talk about using the TI-34 multi-view to convert from improper fractions to mixed numbers and then again from mixed numbers to improper fractions. So I'm going to assume that your calculator is set up in a default mode but if not, let's just kind of check real quick. So what you would want to do is click the mode button and if we scroll down, I'm going to get past that. Now you'll notice here it says U N slash D, and that's the one that's highlighted. And then the option that's not highlighted is N slash D. So if your N slash D is highlighted, what you want to do is use your arrows to make sure that UND is highlighted and just press enter and then second and your mode button because it says quit above it in gray so that's the option that we want now if we want to take 39 sixths and turn this into a mixed number then all we have to do is type it in exactly as it appears so I'll hit 39 and then the fraction button and then notice that when I hit the fraction button it gave me a fraction and it automatically made the 39 that I entered the numerator so now all we need is 6 and then use your right arrow button to make sure that your cursor is outside of the fraction and just hit enter and it'll tell us that 39 6 is equivalent to 6 and 1 half now notice with our calculator it automatically both turned it into a mixed number and fully reduced the fraction. Okay. If your calculator is set up in default mode, if we go back to our mode and go all the way down, and this was in a previous video, notice that mine has auto simp highlighted so my calculator is set up to automatically simplify now if yours is in its default settings then what you would notice is that mansimp is which means manually simplify is highlighted so in order to have your calculator automatically simplify what you want to do is scroll over using your right arrow to the auto simp automatically simplify and hit enter just a lot easier if your calculator automatically simplifies fractions for you. So let's go ahead and hit the clear button and we're going to take 98 sevenths and we're going to turn that into a fully reduced mixed number. So we hit 98 and then we hit our fraction button and then 7. So we have 98 sevenths, press our right arrow and one thing I just want to emphasize is that we really want to make sure that we've typed in exactly what we want the calculator to do. The calculator doesn't have any understanding of what we're trying to do. It will only do what we tell it to do. So I'm always looking back at my screen and making sure that I've typed things in correctly. Once I know that it's correct, I hit enter. And this one tells me that it's 14. So what that tells us is that 98 and that 7 goes into 98 evenly. There's no remainder here. So rather than a mixed number, we get a whole number. Now what if we want to do the opposite? What if we want to take a mixed number and turn it into an improper fraction? Like uh, in example 3, we have 3 and 4 thirteenths. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to hit the 3, the whole number portion, and then under the second button is the U N over D button. That's our general mixed number button. Now I'm going to press that. Now notice that it made the three the whole number portion of a mixed number and the cursor's blinking in the numerator. So I want my four. To get into my denominator, I have to hit the down button. And then I just type in 13 for my denominator. And then I hit my right arrow button. Now what I want to do is convert this to an improper fraction. So if you'll notice above the mixed number button, it says N over D and then it's got these arrows going both ways and then it says U N over D. Well that gray text means that it's going to convert from a fraction to a mixed number or vice versa. If you give it a mixed number it will convert it into an improper fraction. So to get this gray command I have to hit the gray button or the second button first. So I'm going to hit my second button 
and then I'm going to hit the mixed number button and then I'm going to hit enter and it tells me that it's 43 thirteenths. So 3 and 4 over 13 is equivalent to 43 thirteenths. Let's go ahead and clear that one out and do one more of those. The fourth example says 11 and 7 ninths. So the first thing I do is hit the whole number portion. So I type in 11. I hit my mixed number button. 7 for my numerator. Down arrow. 9 for my denominator. Right arrow to exit out of the fraction. Then second and my mixed number button again. And enter. And it tells me that 11 and 7 ninths is equivalent to 106 ninths.